everyone. This is Dr. Jelani Warsi. And I'm Dr. Kerry Lane. And welcome to episode 5 of Sentence Types. Now, uh, Dr. Warsi is expertly taking us through the different kinds of sentence types, starting with simple sentences, compound sentences, complex sentences, compound complex sentences, which really are the most real and authentic of, uh, and the most efficient kind of sentences in English. We're going to we're going to shift a little bit and we're going to talk about sentence types that, uh, in this case for declarative sentences, that are factual, that are real, that are verifiable. Dr. Warsi will explain what declarative sentences are and then as always we're going to have a little conversation, what we call talk it out. Okay, so Dr. Warsi, please explain what declarative sentences are. Thank you, Dr. Lane. So let's begin today's lesson, and as Dr. Lane said to you, today we are going to study declarative sentences. What are declarative sentences? The verb in that word declarative is declare, right, to state. So the definition of a declarative sentence is, it's a statement that declares something. Now what is that something you, you, you may ask? Declares what? As Dr. Lane pointed out, it declares a fact, something that is verifiable, something that is real, something that is objective, not someone's opinion, not subjective. So let's go back a little bit and look at the definition again. A declarative sentence is a statement that is real, that is verifiable, and that is factual, a statement of facts. So you could guess or foretell that the examples are all going to be facts not opinions. Let's look at some examples of declarative sentences. It's a really sunny day today because the sun is out. It's bright, right? Everything is lit up. People are like, wow, beautiful sunny day. That's a fact. It's a declaration of a fact. Suppose it's raining and it's raining hard. Someone could say, it's raining hard. And that is not this person's opinion because it's actually raining. How is it verifiable? You can just look out the window or walk outside. It's, oh wow, it is raining. Very hard. Um, a very famous movie director, Ang Lee, if you watch Hollywood movies, he has directed quite a few phenomenal movies. The Life of Pi, Brokeback Mountain, um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, that was his first venture into Hollywood movies. <coughs> so he's from Taiwan. Now, we can't make it up because a person has to be born somewhere. He was not born in the USA. He was born in Taiwan. And he's an award-winning movie director. His wife's name is Jane Lin. They married in 1983. That is a fact. It's a, it's a verifiable fact because you could ask them to produce their marriage certificate. It will have the date and the year. That's a declarative sentence. If you wanted to know, I think you already know what Professor Lane teaches, but if I said Professor Lane teaches English, it's a fact, because he teaches English, right? Um, it snows frequently in Finland, it's a country where it snows a lot, right? Or Siberia is freezing cold, uh, which is true, it's a statement of a fact. So these are some very good examples of what declarative sentences are. Uh, we're going to bring back Dr. Lane into the discussion and we will talk it out. Um, I like in, in your explanation, Dr. Warsi, that when you explain that uh, uh, declarative sentences are factual, that they're verifiable, um, and that, and that uh, they're not opinions. So that if we said Dr. Warsi is an extremely handsome man, okay, that would not be a declarative sentence because Unfortunately, it's one person's opinion, or it could be several people, people's opinions that he's a good-looking man, he's a handsome man. Some people might not think that Dr. Warsi is a handsome man, uh, therefore um, saying that he is is not a declarative sentence. But you could say that Dr. Warsi is wearing a blue shirt, that is a declarative, declarative sentence, because it's verifiable. He's wearing a blue shirt, I can see that it's blue. So that's a really a main distinction between a declarative sentence and, and, and a non-declarative sentence where uh, if it's a factual, verifiable, real, actual fact, 
and you put it in the form of a sentence, it's a declarative sentence. But I like the compliment. I'm flattered. Thank you so much, Dr. Lee. Yeah. Even though, you know, it may not be a fact that I'm handsome. No, I'm no, I do think you're handsome. <laughs> Many people think. In fact, send Dr. Warsi a message. Let him know that you think he's handsome, okay? It's not a declarative sentence, but at least it'll make him smile. Um, I am smiling already. <laughs> Um, okay, a few other examples of declarative sentence. Today is Tuesday. I ate eggs for breakfast this morning. Any others? New Delhi is India's capital. That's a fact. And it's as easy as that. That's declarative sentences. We're on a roll. We're going to move to the next uh, type of sentence, which are imperative sentences, and they're just as easy as declarative sentences. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Click on the next video, and we'll see you there. Thank you.